Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this integral. Integral of square root cotangent of x minus square root of tangent of x dx. In an earlier video, the link to which is given in the description below the video, we had described, we had talked about this related, related integral. Integral essentially is the same thing. So let me just copy paste that and this is a plus. So we had talked about this integral, how to evaluate this one. And essentially we had asked that this is a similar integral and we had given an exercise to people, uh, inviting them to try out integral square root cot x minus square root tan x dx. Okay. So if one remembers what happened in this integral, we essentially simplified. We simplified the integral in terms of cos and sine. So let's go ahead and first simplify the integral that we have right now. <coughs> Is equal to integral square root of the numerator is for cotangent of x the numerator is cosine of x so cos of x and the denominator is sine of x and the other term is minus square root of the fraction consisting of the sine of x by the cosine of x and overall of course let's not forget the dx and this is the integral we are trying to compute. This further simplifies to, let me use this line to simplify that part also. So the numerator is now, by cross multiplying what we have is cos x minus sine x by square root of sine x times cos of x and dx. Fine? So this is the integral that we have to bother about, this last one, this last one. <clears throat> Let me color this. Okay. So that red part is the thing that we have to bother about. If you remember, in the, in the integration for integral square root cortex plus square root tan x, what we did was first integrated, first tried to integrate just the numerator, cos x minus sin x. In that case, it was cos x plus sin x. So let's try the same thing here and see what happens. So integrate a simpler integral, integral cos x minus sin x dx. And this we understand is simple. This is nothing but sin x plus cos x of course, there's that obligatory, arbitrary constant, C. Okay. We are going to forget about the C right now. Our interest is just in, in this sin x plus cos x. Because this is only part of the integration. This is not the entire integration. So th this is sin x plus cos x. Okay. So now what we want to do is, as in that one, so what we are trying to do is, we know that this is, suppose... Given this motivation, given this, let's call sine x, let me just cut paste, let's call this expression this expression as a variable u. So the numerator of the integral that we want is uh, already the numerator of this integral, of this integral, is already in the form of some du. Okay, uh, let me also go ahead and give it a name. So the name that I want to give it is say i. The integral that we are trying to figure out is i. So i is equal to, i is equal to integral of du 
du by something okay that something is the square root sin x cos x so as uh, as we did for this other integral we want to express so we want to express square root sin x cos x square root of sin x cos x in terms of u is equal to sin x plus cos x. Is that okay? What we are trying to do? We are trying to simplify. Um, ideally, we would like to have the integral i as du by something. First of all, we have that the, if the numerator itself were very hard to integrate, then along with the denominator, that would be a very far cry. But here, as we understand, the numerator happens to be quite easy to integrate. So therefore, we um, uh, start off by saying i is equal to integral of du by something. And that something is this expression, square root sine x cos x, which we want to express in terms of u. Okay. So taking a cue from the earlier video, we now know, we see that u squared is equal to sine squared of x plus cos squared of x plus 2 times sin x cos x, which of course we understand this part, the sin squared plus cos squared of uh, cos squared x clearly simplifies to 1. So this is equal to 1 plus 2 sin x cos x. We are pretty close to a, uh, we are pretty close to what we wanted. So we wanted to express. I am going to keep this in the frame, this integral i in the frame, and let me also place a copy of that just for the future. So this is equal to integral of okay, oops, integral of this. Okay. So therefore now we can forget about the uh, whatever happened up top and we have the integral with us and this is du by something that something is what we are trying to express in terms of u. Okay. So we see that u squared is equal to 1 plus 2 sin x cos x which yields <coughs> square root of sin x cos x so essentially uh, doing some kind of uh, simplification. Um, uh, or essentially transposing terms from one side to the other, this is equal to u squared u squared minus 1. And of course, there is a u squared minus 1 by 2. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Which means that square root of uh, sin x cos x, therefore, therefore, square root of sin x cos x is nothing but equal to square root of this expression, right? Okay, so this is what we wanted to express the denominator in i in terms of u and we have succeeded. So ne uh, now let's compile everything. Now let's put i back together, what i looks like. So i is equal to, now I am going to write entirely in terms of u so the 2 which is in the denominator of the denominator goes up to the numerator. So that becomes a square root of 2 times integral of du by square root of u squared minus 1. So if you remember when we had, when the original problem was square root 
cotangent of x plus square root tangent of x. The final integral that we landed up with was very similar. It was 1 minus u squared instead of u squared minus 1. And that we had said is a common well-known integral. And so it is in this case. In this case, the integral is, so this integral, du by square root u squared minus 1, this integral, let me mark out which integral, ouch, okay, this integral is a very well-known one. Let me color this, let me color this with the color, say, uh, green, okay. So this integral is a well-known one, and this is nothing but integral of this is nothing but log of u plus square root of u squared minus 1. So the, I understand that this may feel like a, a, now I can put in the uh, arbitrary constant, the constant c. Okay. So I understand that this may feel like a bit of magic. I mean, um, we are going to talk in the next video about how this came about. There are multiple ways of seeing how this came about, but this is one of those integrals which is supposedly a basic integral, like integral du by 1 minus u squared square root, right? So compiling everything, we have i is equal to the square root of 2 times times log of this expression essentially plus c plus the arbitrary constant c uh, we can never forget the arbitrary constant because this one is a indef is an indefinite integral where u is equal to as before sin x plus cos x, okay? And we are done. So in the next, uh, in the next video, we are going to do the following. <clears throat> we are going to tackle this integral, integral square root cot of x dx. In the meantime, viewers are invited to think about how one would go about uh, performing this integration, uh, this indefinite integration, square root cot x dx. And similarly, one can also think about how to do square root tan x tangent of x dx. Thank you. Bye.